Hi everyone, welcome back to Mushra's Positive Pill Box. In today's video, I'm going to teach you some idioms which will really help you in speaking or writing. And also, if when someone uses, you can easily understand the meaning. In this video, we will talk about some idioms. Idioms are going to talk about. Now let's see what is an idiom. Idiom is what is an idiom. is a phrase which has a different meaning or figurative meaning idiom is said to be a single word but you have a direct meaning it has a different meaning there is a different meaning so you can't get the literal meaning and the words are which you have a different meaning and you have a different meaning so let's move on to the video the first idiom is now you are going for a function and you see someone who is very powerful or an important person so instead of saying that he is very important you can use the idiom big fish he is a big fish ninga or function poringa or a very important and or person paakringa so he is very important direct ninga use pannama you can use this idiom the idiom is big fish yara the powerful and all color so i'll repeat again he is a big fish let's move on to the second one at the same time you have me going for a function or meeting and you find some people who a person who is very different in behavior very very unusual very strange or adutha poringa and all vand the and the behaviors are not only vyathasam aikidu velangi kolla kashtam aikidu nu sonna he is very strange in this only plain i use panam you can use the idiom queer fish he is a queer fish he is a queer fish so instead of using the direct word strange or unusual you can use this idiom he is a queer fish let's move on to the third one you are you are going home or you are going for a party or something and you find something secret is happening that means like suspicious something is happening right so instead of saying i feel very suspicious with your behavior you can say i can feel something fishy or edathuk poringa அவங்களோட பிஹேவியர்ஸ்லாம் கொஞ்சம் வித்தியாசமாக இருக்குது சீக்ரெட் ஆயிடுமோ சேர மாதிரி இருக்குது இல்லாட்டி சஸ்பி சஸ்பிஷியஸ் சந்தேகமானதாயிக்குது ஸோ யூ கேன் யூஸ் த இடியம் ஐ கேன் ஃபீல் சம்திங் ஃபிஷி கோயிங் அரவுண்ட் ஹியர் நான் லெட்ஸ் மூவ் ஆன் டு த ஃபோர்த் ஒன் யோர் ஃப்ரெண்ட் இஸ் காலிங் அண்ட் ஆஸ்கிங் ஷல் வி கோ ஃபார் அ மூவி டு நைட் பட் அன்ஃபார்ச்சுனேட்லி யூ ஹாவ் அன் எக்ஸாம் டுமாரோ so you have to say no i can't come you have to refuse it and say that you have some important works to be done so what are you going to use what is the idiom you are going to use you can simply say i have a bigger fish to fry so i can't join you tonight i have a bigger fish to fry or a friend kupudar va night ku or movie paaka povund but next day ungal exam ikkidu so you have something very important work or very mukhyamana or very important work on irukidu so you want to refuse adha na varela adhu sollona so adukku i can't join you in the simple as well i'm a plain as well i'm a you can use the idiom i'm sorry i have a bigger fish to fry i'll repeat again i have a bigger fish to fry now let's move on to the fifth one you have gone for a function and you feel no one is known to you all function on the thing is you don't know who you are everyone is very new to you and you feel very awkward or very uncomfortable or adhe vidikiringa yarume arimoham illa or asoharyama feel pandringa so you can say i feel fish out of water i feel fish out of water so enaki da asoharyama ikida i feel uncomfortable in this solathukku badila you can use the idiom i feel fish out of water so in today's video i have taught you five idioms which will really help you or standardize your language the first one is big fish second one is queer fish third one is uh, something fishy fourth one have bigger fish to fry and fifth one is fish out of water thanks for watching my video let me join you with more new information until that take care